jewels and today we will be making a lava lamp so the things we'll need for today's video is a water bottle or a container just make sure it's cylinder and the next thing is food coloring any f uh, color is fine baking soda a funnel vinegar vegetable oil and it's optional some measuring cups so let's get started a water bottle you're going to unscrew it put in your funnel and you're going to pour in your baking soda maybe you're gonna want a mat because as you can see I just spilt some Be very, very careful with it. Okay, yeah, that is way too much. Wait, just spilled some more. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to pour in your vegetable oil. Let me clean that up. Okay, pour in your vegetable oil push everything out of the way because you don't want to make a mess with this if you need an adult's help ask there's nothing cool about making a mess and not asking for help so we just pour that in there pour that in there make it a little bit high so then you don't have to worry about um, there not being enough space for your chemical reaction. Make sure all of that is in there. You might want some paper towels next to you. Now next, you're going to need your measuring cups. Or just a cup that has uh, one tablespoon. But you're going to need two tablespoons. I use one for I don't know what reason because I was estimating instead of being exact because one is not going to give you enough bubbles and not going to make it a pr as pretty as it would with two tablespoons so let me just get this open okay so you're going to pour in your vinegar Make sure you screw back on the top. Clean up as you go, so then you don't have to worry about showing your mom, hey, I made my um, I made my lava lamp. And then your mom's saying, well, why didn't you clean up? So you're gonna pour that in. Make sure you don't spill it because it is stanky. Okay, so I'm pouring it into a flat bottom container. I'm just using other measuring cups. So you're going to pour that in. But remember, this is two tablespoons. Then you're going to put in some food coloring. It could be any color. I use my favorite color, which is blue. Any blue is fine. But make sure you have a mat because if you spill that it will stain especially if you have a white or wood table so you're going to squeeze that in only one is necessary because um if you use two then it's going to be too dark and you're not going to be able to see the color so it's going to look like black So you're going to need like a, maybe a toothpick or maybe chopsticks that you have from the sushi that you had last night. Um, you're going to put that side. And if you don't have any of those, just stir it around. That's what I did and it turned out really good. So you're going to pour that in. I didn't, I'm going to use the funnel because I don't trust myself. And look. Look at how pretty it is. That's a five minute craft for you. It, it took two minutes to like introduce myself and do all that intro stuff. 
But this was a five minute craft. For sure a five minute craft. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, and don't shake the bottle. My mom shook the bottle during, uh, and we were trying to do the thumbnail. And it did not turn out well. She shook it really hard, and then the whole thing became blue. That's science for you. So I'm just, yeah, I'm noticing my mistake, and I'm just uh, redoing and adding some more food coloring. So I'll, that's me uh, talking about the toothpick or the chops that you had from last night's sushi dinner. And yeah, see how it's, it just refreshes it. But this reaction only lasts for 15 minutes for you're putting it in a school project only for like five minutes. And then the other 10 is just in your lock, in your locker or in your desk or on the side of your desk, just sitting. I just tilted it. I was not shaking it. Now look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And goodbye. Yeah.